for Mother's Day, I'm making these really special cut-out biscuits. Wait, you see the messages we're going to put out here for Mum. I'm Catherine, this is Ballynock and Cookery School. Let's get baking. So we start with our butter. So get the butter in here like this and just slice it up, nothing fancy. And then I'm going to put in here some sugar and some vanilla. That's caster sugar going in there. And then just a little bit of vanilla extract. Sorry about the noise there, but there's a reason why you do this. This is called creaming the butter and sugar together. And what happens is the butter and sugar just melt together beautifully and you get a little bit of air in, which just makes the nicest biscuits and the nicest cake. So that just takes time. Now I'm gonna put in an egg yolk and just give this a little scrape with a spatula. And then I'm gonna give it just another little whisk. Okay, now, we're onto the flour. So here's our flour, we put the flour in and we need some water. I'm just gonna put a little drop of water at the beginning. I'm just gonna fold this mix in, and bring this together into a dough. So this has to be a dough that I can actually roll out nicely. I wanna see how wet it is now in a minute. And this is a case, unfortunately for me, of putting my hands in. So here we go. It's lovely, so just squeeze the flour into your butter mix and as needed, just add in a little drop of water or orange juice, just to bring the mix together so that you can happily roll it out. It does go to the fridge to rest, which makes it a little bit easier because then the butter just solidifies, makes it much easier to roll out. So this is how quick it is to make a biscuit dough. And you can change up the flavors. You can put in orange zest, cinnamon, lemon, lime zest, whatever you think mum will like best. Okay, there's our dough, flatten it out. Now that goes onto parchment paper like this and then we put that in the fridge and leave it to settle. When your hands are like that, what you do is you get some dry flour over your empty bowl and you just pull that over your hands like that. And that way then it just takes some of the mix off your hands before you wash them, which makes it a little easier to wash at that point. So just fold it with the parchment paper into the fridge for about 30 minutes and then we can take it out and roll it out and cut out our biscuits. Here we go, a bit of flour. You can roll this out between two sheets of parchment. Go to chance it as is. I'm kind of like the old fashioned way. There's all sorts of tips on rolling out, but I do have to say, I like just a nice floured surface. Not too much flour, always shake off the excess. And then you get your rolling pin and then you just start to roll. And just keep turning it, a quarter turn each time. And if it's not turning, you know it's sticking to the face, which is not good. Then you have your cutter. So you'll need to organize these online beforehand or in your local bake shop. But this can be a W or it can be an M for mum. And then you just dip it in flour and you cut out M for mum. So we're gonna say, mum, I love you. So there's an two M's and we need a U. See where this is going now? There's M-U-M, right? Okay, what next? Love, L, O, V, E. Okay, and then say we do X and another X and an O. How's about that? See? And then you have your leftovers and you can take it up in your hand. You might need a tiny bit of water with the leftovers just to bring it together because you've added a little bit of flour in. But you just bring it together, you flatten it out and you continue to shape. We don't need to do that though because I'm going to get these baking. And then later, if you wanted to, the kids could decorate them. So you can put just a little bit of icing sugar on them and then just decorate them with whatever little messages they want or whatever little sprinkles they wanted to put on themselves. There you go. And into the oven they go. And here they are. Here's a few that I made earlier. So mum love you, XOX. I also did one ma, me ma. Uh, for me it was mammy. So you can play with this as you want. You can have a bit of fun, depending on what you call your mum. <laughs> I think it's a really good fun thing to do. And I think your mum will love it. 
on Mother's Day. I think it's something really special that the kids can do for their mom, and it's something so personal. It's gorgeous. So you can, if you want, then get white icing and decorate them. I'm just going to leave them plain. I'm going to sit them over there beside some sprinkles, and I'll take a photograph of them, and you can see what they look like. <laughs>